While many of us have a fear of creepy crawlies, some bugs are certainly a lot more dangerous than others. Many have adapted powerful traits to defend themselves from predators and protect themselves from the elements. Today, we're taking a look at the top 15 most dangerous bugs. Number 15. The Black Widow Of all the spiders in the animal kingdom, few have quite the reputation of the Black Widow. That's because this spider, which has a round torso and a trademark red hourglass marking, is known to be one of the most poisonous household spiders out there. Now, they typically like to hide in dark places and will often make their homes inside of corner of a garage, the confines of a wood pile, or even the inside of a pair of boots. And while they'll do no harm to you if left undisturbed, if you accidentally touch one, they will bite. If this happens, there's a very real possibility that you'll begin to experience severe pain and muscle cramps in a matter of hours, with some bites having been known to be deadly in children and the elderly. As such, it's always recommended that you shake out your boots and wear gloves when working in dark spaces in order to avoid an encounter with the Black Widow. Number 14. The Cow Killer While this bug may have a pretty funny name, it certainly isn't at all funny to be stung by one. That's because cow killers are a type of red and black wasp that's renowned for having a strong sting, with the poison reportedly being potent enough to bring down a full-grown cow. And while these reports have not been confirmed, what is for certain is that their stings cause extreme pain, with famed sting expert and YouTube personality Cody Peterson claiming that the sensation felt like getting stung over and over again in the same spot. As a result, we suggest getting a professional exterminator to dispose of them if you ever see them flying around your backyard. Number 13. The Brown Recluse While the brown recluse may look like a run-of-the-mill spider, it's really anything but. That's because this American spider species is known to cause some serious pain whenever it bites its victims. Now, to be fair, this isn't always the case. After all, there are plenty of brown recluse bites that aren't all that bad. However, in a small number of cases, tissue necrosis can result, which causes your skin to rot and in extreme cases for your red blood cells to burst. Thankfully, though, brown recluses only tend to bite when pushed up against the skin while you put clothing on. Therefore, simply shaking out clothes you haven't worn in a while greatly reduces your chance of coming into contact with them. Number 12. The Red Imported Fire Ant Of all the ants out there, few are as quite as dangerous as the Red Imported Fire Ant. Now, while fire ants are found throughout the world, the specific species in question is the Red Imported Fire Ant, which first came to the United States via Chinese shipping crates back in the 30s. And since then, they've spread across the southern states due to both their complete lack of predators and their tendency to live in hot climates. As a result, they've become quite a problem in both countries due to the fact that they'll typically attack in swarms and will not hesitate to sting someone multiple times with their extremely painful toxins. And while their initial stings are certainly painful, they remain itchy for days and cause a number of red bumps on the skin that don't certainly look all that great. As a result, we suggest being extremely cautious in areas that are known to be home to these aggressive ants. Number 11. Executioner Wasp Executioners were never exactly known for being all that soft, and the Executioner Wasp is certainly no exception. That's because while its sting is not considered to be deadly, even wildlife expert Cody Peterson, who makes a living off getting stung by insects for audiences on YouTube, declared it to be the most painful sting he'd ever experienced in his life. Now, this wasp is found throughout South and Central America, and generally speaking, is not known to be overly aggressive. However, if you provoke it and it does decide to sting you, then you can expect to be in pain for multiple days, as its sting will not only cause swelling in the immediate impact area, but will also often lead to tissue necrosis around the site of the sting. In other words, you can expect your skin to begin to rot where the wasp's stinger punctured your skin, leading to a look and a feeling that isn't all that nice. As a result, we'd recommend staying far away from this insidious insect. Number 10. The Killer Bee If you've read the book Frankenstein, then you know of the dangers that can occur when humans try to mess with nature. Yet it turns out that some scientists never learned this lesson, as it was due to unwise breeding techniques that the killer bee was born. Now, this species first got its start in Brazil. Biologist Warwick E. Kerr decided to breed honeybee species from Europe with the species from Southern Africa. The hope was that these bees could produce more honey in tropical conditions than European species did. Yet it soon became clear that this species was a lot more defensive than regular honeybees. And while this wasn't too much of a concern when the bees were in quarantine, it became a very big issue when 26 colonies escaped in 1957. 
This has since led to the killer bee ravaging across South America, Central America, and the Southern United States thanks to its ability to travel over long distances and act as an invasive species. As such, they've now become increasingly common, and due to their painful sting, tendency to swarm, and tendency to attack nearby people rather than just ignore them, they have led to the deaths of many innocent passers-by over the years. As such, if you're in an area that is known to have a lot of killer honeybees, then we suggest steering well clear of their hives. Number 9. The Warrior Wasp If you're looking to be stung by an insect that's perhaps even more fierce than its name suggests, then the warrior wasp is the bug for you. It inhabits the rainforests of South and Central America and is known to have a sting that's excruciatingly painful. Now, this wasp typically lives in large hives and gets its name due to the loud drumming sound that it makes if its nest is being threatened, with the noise supposedly similar to that made by marching soldiers. And while they won't go out of their way to bother humans, if you disturb their nest, they will attack you en masse and will even go so far as to chase you as you run away. Now, the interesting thing about its venom is that it not only gives you an extremely sharp stinging sensation, but also contains serotonin, which is the neurotransmitter popularly known for its role in feelings of well-being and happiness. However, the warrior wasp manages to use its serotonin nefariously, as when it stings, the serotonin falsely signals the victim's brain to constrict its blood vessels, as if it had a serious gaping wound, causing severe pain. As a result, it's advisable that you steer clear of their hives if you're ever on a trek through the rainforest. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Tsetse Flies Let's face it, the Tsetse Fly really doesn't look much like a heavy hitter. After all, they're less than one centimeter long, really seem pretty mundane at first glance. However, the truth of the matter is that tsetse flies are the main vectors of one of the most troubling tropical diseases out there. That's because this African species is known to spread sleeping sickness. This disease first starts when a tsetse fly sucks on your blood, with this sometimes leading to the expulsion of a parasite. The parasite then enters your bloodstream. For a short while, you will only experience a fever, headaches, and aching muscles. However, after some time, the parasite begins to attack the brain, causing extreme lethargy, confusion, and poor coordination. Without treatment, this disease almost always leads to the death of the victim. Thankfully, medicine exists today that are able to combat the disease. However, in recent years, tsetse flies have adapted to become resistant to them. To make matters worse, many parasites are able to remain in their victim's skin and fat cells for decades before infecting them, thus allowing them to become a vector for transmission as well. As a result, while there are many periods in history that sleeping sickness infections have been deemed to be under control, experience has shown that it doesn't take long for things to get out of hand once again. Therefore, if you're in an area known to have tsetse flies, we suggest taking every precaution possible to avoid getting bitten by one of these bloodsuckers. Number 7. Botfly while most insects choose to make their nests inside of dirt, trees, or even rock cavities, the bot fly does things a little differently. That's because rather than simply make a nest for its young, it will instead insert its eggs into mosquitoes, ticks, and fleas. And once the insect bites or sting humans, the eggs get released into the skin, where the fly then hatches and feeds off of you until it's ready to fly away. As a result, victims of bot flies will often have red holes pockmarked on their skin where the little bot flies feast on their flesh until they're fully developed. As you might expect, the experience of having a parasite living off you is nothing if not painful, and as a result, there are a number of ways to get rid of these nasty bugs. However, perhaps the most ingenious is using a piece of bacon. Yeah, you heard that right. While this method may not appear to be the most scientifically sound, the truth of the matter is that if you place a lightly cooked bacon strip over the affected area, the flies will emerge from the flesh and attach themselves to the bacon instead. As such, if you're ever camping out in the wilderness and find that some of these insects have decided to make your skin their newest home, this remedy will work to relocate them on the fly. Number 6. Locusts If you're going on a stroll and see a locust, you really have nothing to fear. After all, if you were to mess with it, it really wouldn't be able to do anything to you. After all, they're typically solitary insects that are quite docile and will not be able to harm you in any way. However, if you happen to be a farmer, then these guys are your worst nightmare. That's because ever since biblical times, locusts have been known to periodically collect in swarms, where they decimate large swaths of crops and vegetation. 
This can lead to widespread famines in areas dependent on local crops, with the death tolls easily reaching into the thousands if enough people are affected. Now, their one saving grace is that these little critters who live nearly on every continent don't swarm all the time. In fact, they spend most of their lives alone. However, when their population density begins to increase in a given area, they tend to become more gregarious, attract each other, eat more, and develop faster. This then ultimately leads to the devastating swarms that they're best known for, with these often lasting for years before they subside. Number 5. The Murder Hornet While it's technically known as the Asian Giant Hornet, this insidious insect has been given this name for a good reason. That's because despite being just 45 millimeters in length, it's known to have a sting that's so painful that it's been compared to having hot iron rods stabbed into your body. These hornets are endemic to eastern and southeastern Asia, and typically live in colonies as do most other wasps. And while wasps are known to be protective of their hives, murder hornets are particularly aggressive, as at even the slightest disturbance they will often attack an intruder en masse, with their assaults having the potential to be lethal if enough of them sting you. Thankfully though, most of the time they don't directly assault humans, and will instead attack beehives in order to steal their larvae and then feed them to their young. However, due to native bees often attacking them en masse when they enter their hive, they're usually able to stop these murderous hornets from doing any serious damage. Yet this isn't the case abroad. You see, likely thanks to container shipping between Southeast Asia and the United States and Canada, increasing numbers of these wasps have begun to be spotted on the western seaboard. As of now, their impact has been relatively limited, yet even the carnage they've done so far has been nothing short of disastrous. That's because while bee colonies in Asia have adapted to fight off these crazy critters, North American bees do not know how to, and thus attacks often lead to bee colonies that are thousands strong being completely killed off by one single wasp. This has led to many beekeepers to worry that murder hornets could lead to widespread destruction of the already dwindling North American bee population, which would have serious consequences across the continent. Therefore, there's been widespread attempts by the authorities to try to control the murder hornet population. However, whether or not they'll be successful is yet to be seen. Number 4. The Bullet Ant Typically speaking, animals with scary-sounding names should be avoided. And by our estimate, the bullet ant is certainly no exception. After all, despite only being about 18 to 30 millimeters in length, it's known to have one of the strongest stings in the insect world. Found throughout the rainforest of Central and South America, these ants typically live in large colonies and generally stick to themselves. However, if they're provoked, they will attack as a group, and these ants will not only rush whatever they see as a threat, but will also release chemicals that signal other ants in the vicinity to sting repeatedly. Now, the sting itself is described as being a blinding electric pain that's comparable to being shot with a gun. Reportedly comes in waves that last for as long as 24 hours. This is primarily thanks to its sting having a venom known as ponerotoxin, which worked to block synapse transmission in the central nervous system. This ultimately leads to not only excruciating pain, but temporary paralysis, uncontrollable shaking, vomiting, fever, and cardiac arrhythmia, which can really only be lessened by either icing the wound or ingesting pain relief medication. However, as with the tarantula hawk, the pain thankfully remains localized, meaning that no matter how many times you're stung by bullet ants, it's nearly impossible to die from them. As a result, bullet ants are often used in coming-of-age rituals by tribes living deep in the Amazon. Regardless, we'd still suggest leaving these rituals to the locals if you'd like to make your next tropical vacation a painless experience. Number 3. The Kissing Bug While kissing bugs may sound pretty harmless, they're certainly anything but. And at first glance, they look pretty harmless as well, as they measure in at just two centimeters long and are a plain brown color. However, the truth of the matter is that they're known for causing itchy bites in their victims and get their name thanks to the fact that they often strike around their victim's face or mouth. Now, generally speaking, a kissing bug bite isn't too big of a deal, as while it may have the appearance of hives, they usually go away after about a week. However, across Mexico, Central America, and South America, there's a very real risk that those stung by the kissing bug can contract Chagas disease. Now, kissing bugs transmit Chagas disease via their feces, which they give to humans due to the fact that they typically defecate after feeding on their victims. If you do contract it, you can expect the first few weeks of the disease to be relatively tame, as you will likely only experience very mild flu-like symptoms. However, if you don't realize that these symptoms could be a sign of Chagas disease, then there's about a 20 to 30% chance that it can become chronic about 10 to 25 years down the road. This is extremely bad news, as not only is chronic Chagas disease incurable, 
but it's also life-threatening as it often causes irregular heart rhythms, the development of an enlarged heart, and the dilation of the esophagus and colon. Therefore, if you ever do get a kissing bug bite and begin to feel even a little bit unwell, we suggest going to see a doctor, and doing so could potentially save your life. Number two, the tarantula hawk. While there are many dangerous looking bugs on this list, none have a name that's quite as scary as the tarantula hawk. And despite the fact that the tarantula hawk is neither a tarantula nor a hawk, you would easily be able to take down either. That's because the tarantula hawk has a sting that is known to be one of the most painful in the world. Interestingly enough, the tarantula hawk is a species of spider wasp and is known for using its one third of an inch long stinger to disable, then feed on tarantulas. It typically does so in order to incubate its young, as females will stab a tarantula between the legs, paralyze it, and then cart it off to its nest, where a single tarantula hawk larva will eat it alive for several weeks as it develops. Thankfully, this predatory practice is typically only reserved for tarantulas, and thus the tarantula hawk is generally not a threat to humans. However, if you threaten one, it certainly will sting. And if you do get stung by one of these five centimeter long wasps while you're in the rainforests of Southeast Asia, the Americas, and Africa, then you're in for trouble. That's because the pain is so bad that according to a peer-reviewed scientific journal, the best thing to do if you're stung by one of these little guys is to just lie on the ground and start screaming. For despite the pain only lasting between four to five minutes, it's said to be so painful that it impairs all physical and mental control thus making any kind of proactive response near impossible. However, the one saving grace about this sting is that after it's through, you won't have much to worry about, aside from the possibility of it triggering an allergic reaction. The sting isn't deadly and doesn't require medical attention. Regardless, we'd recommend keeping your distance if you ever see a tarantula hawk in the wild. Number one, the mosquito. While a sting from a mosquito may not seem all that painful, they are by far the most dangerous bug in the entire world, and by many accounts, the most dangerous animal on the planet. That's because most experts agree that mosquitoes kill at least 725,000 people every single year, with this being largely thanks to the fact that mosquito-borne infections account for 17% of all cases of infectious diseases worldwide. This is largely because they not only have the capacity to transmit diseases and parasites to humans, but are extremely common worldwide this being especially true in hotter regions of the world that, generally speaking, have less medical infrastructure in place to deal with mosquito-borne infections. And while mosquitoes are credited with the transmission of a whole host of diseases, by far the most common and certainly one of the most deadly is malaria. For those of you that don't know, malaria is easily one of the most lethal killers south of the equator and is characterized by headaches, pains, chills, and diarrhea at first, and eventually in severe nerve damage and death as the disease progresses. In fact, this mosquito transmitted disease is so bad that it leads to the infections of about 200 million people every year and the deaths of about 400,000. Yet the dangerous nature of the mosquito doesn't stop there. For be it transmitting dengue fever, which infects upwards of 400 million victims annually, and 25,000 deaths, or yellow fever, which infects upwards of 200,000 people and leads to about 30,000 deaths per year, it truly is a major killer. Thus, despite being very small, one thing is certain. Mosquitoes are seriously deadly. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos.